The Starks have overextended their lines. Now that summer's over, they'll have a hard time keeping their men and horses fed. The Starks understand winter better than we ever will. The cold won't feed them. Our spies report growing discontent among the northern lords. They want to return home and gather the harvest before the crops turn. And I'm sure if those same spies snuck into our own encampments, they would report growing discontent amongst the southern lords. This is war. No one's content. We've underestimated the Stark boy for too long. He has a good mind for warfare. His men worship him. As long as he keeps winning battles, they'll keep believing he is king in the north. You've been waiting for him to fail. He is not going to fail. Not without our help. So how do we stop him? We've worked through the night, my lord. Perhaps we'd profit from some sleep. Yes, I think you would, Reginald. And because you're my cousin, I might even let you wake from that sleep. Go. I'm sure your wife must miss you. My wife's in Lannisport. Well, then you better start riding. Go before I change my mind and send her your head. If your name was not Lannister, you'd be scrubbing out pots in the cook's tent. Go! Not wine, water. We'll be here for some time. Girl. Where are you from? Maidenpool, my lord. And who are the lords of Maidenpool? Remind me. House Mouton, my lord. And what is their sigil? A red salmon. I think a Maidenpool girl would remember that. You're a northerner, aren't you? Good. And one more time, where are you from? Barrington, my lord. House Dustin. Two crossed larxes beneath a black crown. And what do they say of Rob Stark in the north? They call him the young wolf. And? They say he rides into battle on the back of a giant dire wolf. They say he can turn into a wolf himself when he wants. They say he can't be killed. Do you believe them? No, my lord. Anyone can be killed. Fetch that water. 